Hey, this is Paul Booth and you are watching Loudwire. I was a punk rocker originally and uh, hardcore, even UK punk, anything punk, you know, and I was a kid in the school with the big blue mohawk and chains hanging from everywhere and <laughs> um, uh, very suburban punk kind of kid, I guess. And uh, I remember uh, the transition band for me was uh, Motorhead. Uh, back in that day, I mean, I, I was, uh, you know, I was at CBGB's every weekend and back in the early 80s, you know, in 81, 82, 83. Um, so I saw these, all these classic punk bands and uh, uh, I was a huge Plasmatics fan. Wendy O was like my first love, you know? <laughs> discovered Motorhead and that brought me over to Venom and uh, Metallica and Slayer. I still listened to punk but I, I was uh, transitioning 84 around that year um, and uh, so of course I became a huge Slayer fan. Uh, you know back then uh, it was like a religion really and uh, I basically uh, I remember sitting my first year of tattooing, years later, like 20 years old, I, uh, the boss would leave and leave me in charge of the shop and the first thing I'd do is put Slayer on the radio and jam to it while I'm tattooing. And Yeah, I was in high school and the first tattoo exposure that I can remember, I'm not sure I, I'm sure I saw stuff previously, but the bad boy in our school um, had a uh, scorpion inked like uh, home tattooed with a needle and thread, you know, uh, a scorpion on the inside of his arm and it was all blotchy and homemade and, uh, you know, and we were like 14, you know, and uh, I always would look at it and I'd be like, wow, that's so cool and it's permanent. I always it was intrigued by that. But I was also like, as an artist, like, man, but even I could do better, you know, and, 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 and I was intrigued from the start. I wasn't seeking tattooing. I just thought it was cool. Um, and then when I was 19, I had a, uh, uh, my kid freaking out, of course, because I was 19 and, and, and I'm like, oh my God, I'm a father, you know, and I'm not one to run away, but it was a hard time to deal with it, you know, and uh, my friend suggested, well, why don't you get her name tattooed on you? And then, you know, kind of as a coping mechanism, like an accepting, like, okay, I'm a dad, you know? And I did, and I remember getting to, I picked the design off the wall, because back then it was like, I'll take number 23A, please, you know? And, and uh, uh, I asked if I could customize it, and he said, yeah, so I got to carve it out a little bit and make some changes, and, and then I watched him do it, and the whole thing just blew me away. The pain, the permanence, the, 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 uh, uh, the whole ritual process of it, I fell in love with, and I had to learn how to do it. And it wasn't even about a career. I was just like, man, I got to do this. It's like I'm, it's calling me. You know, I've always been an explorer in art. I always try different mediums all the time, and and uh, different disciplines and such. Um, but I, I uh, this was something that just grabbed me immediately. So I scrounged up money because back then to get an apprenticeship, you generally paid for it. And uh, I think it was five grand. And uh, scraped up the money, begged, borrowed, and stole. And uh, next thing I knew, I was uh, mopping the floors in a tattoo shop. <laughs> and uh, I'd say two and a half, three months in, I got to do my first tattoo. And, and uh, yeah, and it escalated from there. The lighting you get in a black and white photo or film um, is always, can always be so much more dramatic and has a mood to it, you know, it, it, uh, you're not being baffled by a bunch of colors and, and that sort of thing. Uh, so originally it was just, uh, I always worked in charcoal and, and uh, I was never big into color. So even when I was a painter, I, uh, even when I was a painter, I had, uh, uh, before I was tattooing, I, I worked a lot in uh, charcoals and black and gray and stuff. So it was a natural progression. I was an airbrush artist as well before I tattooed. And, um, 
So there's something in the techniques involved in black and gray that are closer to airbrushing than like doing a color tattoo. So my natural tendency was to lean towards black and gray. I'm still trying to figure it out. I want to do more color, but I haven't figured out what yet. So. I've been into horror my entire life. Um, a lot of times when I get asked uh, about my origins, you know, I always reference uh, my mother said, when I was in the high chair, I always went for the black crayon. That was my favorite. That's all I wanted to ever draw with. And I also remember when I was nine or 10, I blacked out the windows of my room to block out the sun because I hated it. Um, and uh, things like that through my whole life, you know, and especially in my early childhood. I, uh, you know, I never tortured and killed any animals but I can tell you my G.I. Joes are all melted down into leprosy and <laughs> deformities, you know? <laughs> so, I mean, I, you know, I, I, uh, I was a strange kid.